I'm actually not 100% sure how I got roped into this, but somehow Anthony and I are going head to head competing in the first ever tech triathlon sponsored by Gigabyte Aorus. It's very simple. In the next however long it takes, each of us has to build a gaming computer, overclock it, and complete this level in Doom Eternal. And whoever does it the fastest wins. Go! Z490, we're going 10th gen, baby. Z490. This is gonna be all about controlled speed, okay? So thinking carefully before doing something like closing a box to make sure that I'm not gonna need anything else from inside, like the mounting hardware for my M.2 drive later. Oh, wow, is Gigabyte the one sensible manufacturer that actually just puts it in the slot where you're gonna need it? That would be cool, because I don't see any mounting hardware in there. We're gonna do something unconventional here. We're gonna start with M.2. And here is our Aorus SSD that actually probably I'm not going to be able to put that cooler back on because I think it's got its own cooler. All right, component one, done. You feeling threatened, Anthony? No. Look, I'm doing harder stuff. Are you? I put the M.2 drive on. I already did that. Actually, I should probably put the, yeah, put the cooler hardware on first. See that pile feeling threatened yet, Anthony? Oh, Lordy, there's an AIO. Sure is. Oh, that's going to slow me down. Uh are you just gonna throw it on the bench and not put it in the case? Is that what your plan is? No. I am going to build this computer completely properly like you've never seen done before. Okay, Mr. President. Yeah, who's got their case unboxed now? So you might be a professional PC builder, but I happen to be a professional unboxer. Your overconfidence is your weakness. Now I gotta let you guys in on a little secret here. I think Anthony's gonna do at least some basic cable management. I'm not. Now, under normal circumstances, I love to win, and I would pick someone that I'm pretty confident I can beat. But I didn't pick who I was competing against today. Under normal circumstances, you cheat, you mean. Okay, we're gonna stash that right there. I'm gonna be building right side up. We're gonna see if my standing build technique is better than Anthony's lying down build technique. You, you want me to build a, build a PC lying down? Is that what you want me to do? I mean, any way you can get an advantage, right? This is a perfectly fair and square competition we're having here, Anthony Young. I'm nothing if not an honorable competitor. Linus and I are doing things in a little bit of a different order. We'll see which way works out best. Motherboard's going in. What am I doing? Yeah, Linus is really in my head right now. Let's just not do that. Oh no! This fan has closed corners. Corner blocked. I can't, you can't stick a cable management thing through the corner because it's a closed corner. Ah, no! Please don't do that. This is the most challenging part of a build with an AIO. Oh, you mean you haven't done that yet? You've got your AIO mounted already? No. Oh, well, what a... I just thought I was really behind because I looked over and I saw the fans and like, oh, wow, I'm going to need to get going. I think I'm doing okay, actually. You're not bad. I might even be out ahead right you now. You might be. Well, the reason that I'm pushing as hard as I can to go as fast as I can for the build is that I am quite worried about Anthony's overclocking skills versus my own. Uh, these days, hashtag lie nuss, I usually just ask him to deal with it for me if I need something overclocked because it's been so long since I've really been, you know, into the little details around overclocking. I do not have that luxury today. This is where Linus's more nimble fingers come in handy for him. So that goes there. RTX 2060 Super. It's a really nice pairing for our 10th gen Core i7. Oh yes, this is a mm, spectacular you know, it's pairing. It's a good, it's a good pairing. Fruity aroma. Fruity aroma. The way overclocking works is for every percent extra performance you get, you get a 2% modifier to your overall time. So there is definitely a benefit to overclocking, but neither of us are gonna have the time to fully you know, dial it in and spend hours and hours fine tuning it. Oh, I hear screws dropping over there, uh oh. Yeah, I'll clean those up while the operating system's installing. Computer. Is it a computer? It is. What kind of monitors are we rocking here? 
CV27Q, 165 hertz refresh rate, one millisecond pixel response times, FreeSync 2 HDR, ooh, display HDR, but to what degree? I'm gonna assume 400 if it doesn't say otherwise. That's usually the safest bet. In the meantime, moment of truth. You ready, baby? Oh, oh, it's... It's awful. Well, there's your problem. What was that? Uh, not actually endorsing this method. <laughs> Is yours rubbing too? A little bit. Fortunately, I have engineered a quick fix. It's called back off the screws a little bit. Okay, now's the time to see that BIOS screen. And I am in the BIOS. You know what? Thanks for sponsoring this ARS. I'm gonna leave your, I'm gonna leave your marketing bullet points right there. Okay, advanced mode. We're going uh, CPU upgrade. Um, what, the, what did that even do? Gaming profile, advanced profile, what does that even? Okay, well we can turn XMP on. Hey, DDR4-3600, that's fast. Hey, Anthony, yeah, what's Linus? Gigabyte's version of multi-core enhancement called? I don't know. I haven't used many Gigabyte boards. You dick. Oh, no, it's called enhanced multi-core performance. Fantastic, enabled. Why is there a European plug in here? They thought maybe you had to go to the bathroom. Huh? Get huh? it? Because huh? European? Huh? Huh? Wait a minute. Hey, uh, Colton, do these drives have windows on them? No. <laughs> Jake, hit me with a Windows 10 install USB. I came prepared. Wait, is this USB 2? How much did you pay him, Anthony? I didn't pay him anything. Alex, how much did you pay him? I didn't pay it. What? Alex, what do you mean? How much did you pay him to give me a USB 2 drive? 500 gig SSD. Show me that NVMe install speed. What is with my screwdriver today? Oh God. I forgot about that. Where are you at, Anthony? Uh, installing the operating system. I am pretty far out ahead right now, actually. I am going to get Aorus Engine and do some graphics card overclocking. And then I'm gonna configure OBS. That's part of the challenge. We have to get OBS configured so that we can capture our gaming while we game. This is my secret weapon, gaming optimized BIOS. There it is. See, we're on F3, so that's an older one. This is gaming optimized for gamers. Now I just have to hope that the power doesn't go out while I'm updating it, because then I lose. <laughs> I'm just grabbing some updates, doing some other stuff. I mean, I might as well grab that BIOS update, I guess. He's copying my strat. I need to figure out what's going on with this weird stability stuff. My problem is I think what I need to do is remove my GPU overclocking utility in order to get it behaving normally, but it's really hard to do that when it's not behaving normally. I decided to go a little unorthodox. I don't think that the CPU overclock is gonna to make too big of a difference, so I'm just removing the turbo limit to make sure that that's not a limitation. For the GPU, I'm gonna try and push the clocks as far as they'll go. This is my secret weapon. I bet he turned off hyper-threading and stuff too. You're gonna to turn off hyper-threading? Well, for gaming, sure, why not? Yeah, you know what, that might be a decent idea, maybe. See, now that I'm sharing ideas, why don't we all just, you know, collaborate and share ideas? What's your secret weapon again? Uh, it's Linux. Wait, what? Oh, that's a pretty clever idea. So it's a bit of a gamble. We'll see if it pays off. I just found out Anthony is planning to compete with Linux, which I probably should have seen coming a mile away. We're gonna see how that works out for him because when we did our last gaming on Linux update, I was really, really impressed by how seamless the experience has gotten. And then there were also times when I was disappointed because between moving the computer from upstairs to downstairs, it wasn't behaving the way that we were expecting in a couple of cases. To be clear, I can't blame that on Linux necessarily. We've seen the same thing on Windows machines, but there's just always a bit of a <laughs> die roll involved in this sort of thing. For GPU overclocking, what I'm using is Green with Envy. It's an open source tool, and what it allows me to do is set custom fan profiles, set my overclock, all of that is currently applied. So I just have the fan running at full tilt, power limit at 200 watts, and the GPU 
offset and memory offset are both set here. I might see if I can get away with a little bit more on the memory. So it seems stable on the desktop, but I'm not 100% sure if this is gonna work in a game. 33 seconds. I get the feeling this is gonna come down to whoever's better at Doom. I'm gonna tell you guys something. I'm pretty sure I'm significantly better at FPS games than him, so. Wait, you're saying you're significantly better at FPS games than I am? Pretty sure I am. Okay. Pretty sure we've played together before. We played Halo. Yeah, and? You were sniping on top of a hill. And? Were there bullets in your head or not? I don't know. Yeah, exactly, because when there's bullets in your head, you don't exactly have the self-awareness anymore to know that they're there. Meanwhile, my screen is black. That's always a good sign. If it completes a run, I'm pretty sure my overclock is dialed in pretty well. Uh, I could probably squeeze more out of it, but I'm not sure if I want to spend that much time. Seems pretty good so far. This is about what I'd expect. I've got a good feeling about this. Famous last words. All I know is I'm looking at about 70 FPS around the fountain here, 69 there. Hopefully that's nice. I don't know if it is though. All right, average FPS 66. Not great. The test, I did the baseline 73. Okay, so I'm at 85. I'm calling that good enough. Okay, we're out of here. Oh, hey, there it is. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna have to be a lot more careful than I'm accustomed to uh, being. Really Holy. I feel like uh, my mouse is not quite doing the right Come thing. Come on, glory kills. Why do I have the chainsaw equipped? No time for this. Got to win. How's Anthony doing? How am I doing? Pretty sure I'm further along, but I may die here. What? Never mind. Uh, okay, yeah, Whew. Sure I may still die. Okay. Yeah, I died. Shoot. Shoot. Low health. Low health, and I'm dead. Crap. I think so. Oh no, I'm not. Oh sh. Okay, restart the recording. Yes, Steam. Yes, yes, yes. Doom Eternal me. I think I'm still out ahead of Linus. Is he really? What can I say? I'm better at shooters than you thought I was. How good I at shooters be, did you I think I was? I probably shouldn't be talking smack right about now. Can't get in there. Okay, this is a problem. It's gone again. <sighs> 83. Okay. I'll take that. Am I done? Campaign, Fortress of Doom? Um, did I finish? Is this the end or do I have to fight something? So what was Anthony's Tomb Raider FPS? 83. What was mine? 85. Okay, hey, did I win? You know what, GG though. Yeah, 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 you definitely won. GG. You were, yeah. you were way better at gaming than I expected. I was like five minutes ahead, but then it crashed and I couldn't get it to reload. So like I had to go back and change a bunch of BIOS settings and it wasn't actually any of that. Five minutes ahead would have been enough for the win. Yeah. Oh! It was, uh, I'm so disappointed. And it was my own fault because I chose Linux. But like. Also, you you went back into the BIOS and you were fine tuning like the hyper threading stuff. I ended up not bothering. Yeah. I just left it on and was like, forget it. I just need to get in this game. Actually, it was worth doing that because when I went back, uh, see my original FPS was 66. It was below what Colton got. But then I went back, disabled hyper threading and then reapplied everything and I got 83. Yeah, like just trying to diagnose all of this is just not possible in the time we had. Well, either way, that was a lot of fun. Congratulations. It takes the, oh, thanks. Uh, we showed that there is no excuse for not building your own gaming rig because between the two of us, it only took about two hours to build, overclock, and beat the first level of Doom Eternal 1 Nightmare or whatever difficulty we were playing on. Ultra violence. Ultra violence. And now I'm the proud owner of this trophy that I already owned before we started because it belongs to Linus Media Group Incorporated. You also have a sticky note though. Ooh. Massive thank you to Gigabyte Aorus for providing these sick Intel 10th gen gaming rigs. I was really impressed with the Doom Eternal performance. Like, look at this. I was at like 200 FPS in my, in my spaceship or whatever I'm in. Sick stuff. You guys can check out the links to where to buy all the parts of these rigs in the video description. And of course, shout out to Anthony for being a good sport. That was a real back and forth battle there. Well played, sir. Yeah, it was, it was looking like it could go either way for a long time there.